On the reskilling front, let me go to the reskilling because you asked, are we affected by it? Absolutely, are we affected by it? And we talked a lot about, uh, I mean, K-12 education. Let me leave that aside. We, uh, we know that that's an issue. There are good solutions there. But let's talk about the, um, um, the uh, occupational skills. The way the, the, the occupational skills are changing drastically. I mean, the, the workplace uh, today requires that people are knowledgeable about handling difficult equipment. So we see that there's a shortage here in the U.S. at almost all places. I mean, we have started, in a lot of our sites here in the U.S., we've started programs together with the community colleges so that we can do in the evening hours, on the weekends, that we can do a reskilling training. And what, what do we offer there? We offer um, uh, industrial machinist jobs, uh, training, so to say. We offer uh, maintenance, industrial maintenance uh, uh, training. We offer welding. I mean, we had a discussion about welding uh, where uh, Andrew also said, we need welders, we need welders. All and it's not that difficult. I mean, you don't need that. You need to be the big, biggest genius on this planet for all of those three jobs. But Even you, girls can do it. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely, and I would encourage girls to do it. <laughs> so, 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 and we're doing that with great success. Last year, 900 people have enrolled in that program. We will continue to do that for Alcoa only, right? And it's great, very, very successful.